just briefly, I'd like to, uh, on the special day, uh, to bring Tom across from Garawa, from Sion, to Tainu and to Ag Research. And so from our board's point of view, uh, we're very pleased to be here with Tom and his family to hand him across to Kingi. But be assured, he is a very, very competent, capable guy. And Sam, I think you guys have got a real, real um, winner here. It's no secret that uh, when we engaged the search firm to, to replace Dr. Andrew West as Chief Executive of Ag Research, we said, this is an international search. You know, don't just muck around in New Zealand or in Australia, you go to the Northern Hemisphere. There may be expats up there. You go to America. You go to the places of high technology. You go to the places of growth and progression of science. And they found the boy next door. I feel that our, our best days are ahead of us for both organisations. Uh, when organisations have, have more memories than dreams, they're on their own track. There's nothing wrong with our dream. There's nothing wrong with being proud of what we accomplished. And we saw uh, basically a virtual tour of what Scion and Ag Research have contributed to this country as we drove across from Rotorua this morning. Pine plantations that were domesticated here in this country, managed with the world-class software developed at our institute, but finding value in the field. Paddocks that, uh, for most, people, most folks that drive from Auckland, not our board members, just, like, just look like green, uh, verdant pastures. We know they're decades of plant breeding, intellectual property, cultivars, end of fights. We hear about that in the middle of rugby games, which we're not going to do anymore. Um, we know the science that drives the agricultural economy, and, uh, and so we have a great deal to be proud of. And the country needs us to do even better in the decades immediately in front of us. saw the light and came to New Zealand in 1990 to do a math technology fellowship and that actually was run uh, at the University of Auckland in molecular biology and in fact when the CRIs were formed in 1992 uh, Tom actually was in ag research so welcome back Tom oh, really. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and he's been in science for 18 years uh, basically as a scientist in uh, forest tree molecular biology and then moving on <clears throat> to the senior management team I think in 1998 Tom and then <clears throat> chief executive from uh, 2005 obviously to 2010. Uh, Tom's uh, also was a chief in the uh, CSIRO forest uh, products division for some time in 2006 and 2007 and uh, of course he's on the foundation board and also on the council of the uh, Fernaki um, uh, Polytech. My focus from now until Christmas is going to be what I call a diagnostics. We're going to be starting this afternoon and running by the end of Friday. I'll have been everywhere except Wallaceville and the farms, which will be next, to start to get staff to think about what would we build if we were starting from scratch. Now we're not going to tear the place down. We're not going to go into a six-month funk and try to reinvent strategies. At the very, very high aspirational level, you have it right. We're here to make a difference through our science and technology in the agricultural sector. So thank you very much, everyone.